a hat. A hat usually is to protect against the sun, but this hat captures the sun. That's a strange idea. In fact, Michael Gretzel, a German chemist, came to the Polytechnical School of Lausanne, the high-tech uh, university in the 80s, and he had these strange ideas to mimic photosynthesis, like the plants do to capture the solar energy. In fact, that hat is actually covered by cells, by particles, even under the fabric which can harvest uh, energy. So imagine telling to an industrial manager that he should take this idea and make a product out of that? No way. He will not believe in it. So, but it's exactly what the real new stuff is about. You should take really things which are, which seems impossible and to make it possible. I was 37 when I quitted my research and consulting uh, job to go to work in a corporate environment. Again, the Swiss uh, incumbent telco. In fact, uh, they, they had to move from a public service to a private listed uh, company. And they needed new people with different backgrounds, not only engineer. So that's why I was hired in the 90s by the managing director of radio, TV, and mobile as a new business development manager. It sounds you have to do something new. Huh? And, uh, you know, he was pleased to have somebody like me, a woman, uh, not an engineer, who is a PhD in economics, specialized on mass media. And himself was also an economist. And maybe, I don't know if it's because of that, but he was like sometimes tempted, and he did it, to send me on his behalf at the executive board meeting of, uh, of the company. And uh, I came, when I entered the room, I was the youngest, the only woman, the only non-engineer. They didn't know that, but certainly they all thought that I was the new secretary to take the minutes. So I, I like this moment, maybe not because it's provocative, but maybe yes, a little bit because it was provocative. And, uh, but also, especially because it has given me uh, a way to observe top management taking decision. I was quite new in the corporate world, so it was a kind of throw you in the, the spoon. And it has really disguised uh, my perception of power of, and authority. Before that moment, especially because I was in research, uh, I hesitated to take decision. You always think you are not expert enough, you don't know enough, and it creates paralysis. So uh, after that, all my, with all my different teams, what is really my main motto is, if you want to become or stay a leader as a company, you cannot benchmark. You have to invent, you have to be on the front line, not following. Leaders should lead, isn't it? So. The key ingredients to bring innovation to the market. If we would know, we would be really pleased. But I really consider myself as a knowledge architect. I like to connect the dots, people and ideas. And I like to put in parallel several trends. And what is really important for me is to observe these trends and ask the question, so what? What can we do with that? What does it inspire us? and now work on the how, how we will admit, make it happen. So I highly recommend you not to blend in, but to stand up. Thank you for your attention.